possible. Because in the event of a fall, you'll see that this knee ring comes up real high, and then this comes up. And we don't want this to come up and hit you in the throat. Okay, you've got some important veins and arteries right here that we don't want to uh, have damage. All right, so that's got to be right about there, about chest high. It's right about where we want this chest to right. um, You definitely don't want it too high, knowing that it's going to come up in the event of a fall. All right, so we've got an adjustment keeper right here. So once you get this set the way you want, put that against the uh, metal buckle. And that's just designed to keep it there. So as you're moving around throughout the day, you know, you're picking stuff up, you're moving, you're going up and down a ladder. Hopefully that'll help keep it in, in, in the adjusted position that it's in. Right here, this is called a wet keeper. Basically, this is just so that everything is tucked in nice and tight. We don't want those flaps hanging out there. You know, think of a guy that's around machinery. You wouldn't want that to get caught and dragged into a piece of machinery. These right here are called lanyard keepers. And that's for 100% tie-off. If you have to use a twin leg lanyard, you would have one connected to your anchor point. You'd have the other one connected to your lanyard right here. Um, these are made of plastic because they're designed to break. You know, in the event of a fall, we don't know what's going to happen. We don't want that, that lanyard like that you have attached to. We don't want it to wrap around your arm or your leg. Um, so we want this to break and have that fall away from your body. Okay? All these harnesses are just right here off the hips. We do have a universal size, but we also have size um, models. So there's a small, there's a medium slash large, an extra large, an extra extra large. All of them can be adjusted for height off the hip right here. So the same harness that fits someone who's 5'8 could fit someone that's 6'2. Just adjust it off the hip right here. And again, we have a, an adjustment keeper right here. So once you get it where you want, put that against the, the metal buckle. And then here's your web keeper to make sure that that's kept in line. As far as the legs, there's lots of different styles. This is a tongue buckle leg. Most people seem to like this because it's quick, easy on, off, and it's comfortable. Um, that model he's wearing right there is a Blue Armor 2000. That's got the quick connect. Um, if you're going to keep it, it's your harness. You're the only one using it. Some people prefer that because it's just, you know, three snaps and it's on and off real quick. Okay, uh, turn around the back side here. Right here is your D-ring. This is about where you want it. It might be a little bit high on this guy, but we'd rather err on it, on it being a little bit on the high side. Probably right about there is where we want it. Right in the middle of the chest. All right? Right here's your back strap. This is important. Some harnesses do not have this. But the idea is that it keeps these two members together. So in the event of a fall, we don't want them to separate and start to slide around the outside of the body. You know, because you can literally start to slide right out the back. So you gotta have a back strap right there. You want your uh, D-ring right about here. And then down here is the subcolic strap or the butt strap. You want that down low. You can see right now it's already underneath it. And that's where we want it. Because in the event of a fall, we want to be able to have it underneath you so that you can get into a seated position. If you see that butt strap on this guy and it's up here or it's up even higher, you automatically know it's not gonna help him in a fall. He's not gonna be able to get it underneath him. Okay, so, we'll this guy up. What we're going to do is, when I pull him up off the ground, the first thing I want you guys to do is grab that chest strap and pull it down and get him away from the ground. And you're going to grab your knee, and you're going to throw him up as hard as you can. And it's going to pivot on his hip, and that butt strap is going to start coming underneath you. And you can actually grab it with your hand and try to slide it into a better position, okay? Uh, make sure you don't have anything like keys or a knife or a pen in your front pocket. Because when you're working at height, if you were to fall, those things could actually stab you and injure you. So I should have checked that out of here set up here. There, whatever you got, just toss it on the floor there. All right, you good? I mean, you're kind of there right now. Does that feel a little more comfortable? Okay. 
That's basically what we're going for. 